I'm not sure what time it is. 10.05 in the evening. So this is a Western Digital, so I don't expect it to be overly complicated. And uh, hopefully this drive will give us ability to read the surfaces that I can't read right now. That would be really nice. This case was here for a long time. This drive, I already did one head swap. As you can see, the um, as you can see, the the drive had already been opened by me, and I swapped heads on it. But either the donor was weak and uh, heads didn't adopt good enough or something but uh, I could not get it I could not get a good result out of that swap I need my tweezers since 2009 I had this thing I think maybe maybe less and this was just a, like a bent bent tip I don't know I never I don't know if they sell them like this you see that it was just a curved tip first and then I, then I just bent it and uh, became my instant buddy ever since. Every time I come to the shop and when it's like either my fellow worker or um, I misplace this piece and I have to do a head swap, I get this panic mode in terms of like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this head swap now? I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't have my part, I don't have my tools, I don't have my tools. But, I always find it. Okay, so enough with the boring talk. All right, let's, um, let's do this. And uh, I don't know if, if some of you noticed it before or not, but usually, you know, uh, I don't know if I used to do this a lot or not, but like just looking at the hard drive, you can tell that they're not exactly the same, right? Just the label itself gives it up. Now, this is WD10EACS. This one is WD10EAVS. And this is from uh, 22D6B0, and this is a 00D7B0. But what I use for matching is this code on this side, and both of them say AU4. And that's what I'm going to use in this case for compatibility. So AU4 indicates that they belong to the same family which for Western Digital of this vintage should be enough. Since four out of two heads still work, I'm going to put that head assembly into the donor and I'm going to label the donor that it has head zero, one, uh, four and five functional so, you know, so I can use it later if I need to um, for other projects. No sense in throwing this partially functional head assembly out just because it doesn't work completely. Mm. 
but if the head assembly was totally damaged, I mean, there's no point in putting it back in the drive and just, can just be tossed and disposed. So right now the drive is trying to uh, go through uh, its modules to see um, what works and what doesn't. And if there are some modules that are critical for initialization, um, they may need to be rewritten. So this drive's uh, uh, firmware is listed. I'm gonna log in to uh, um, a, a database and download identical set of firmware for um, a donor device. This is actually turning out to be still, it's still stable. It's just, it's just turning out to be a little bit more problematic than I anticipated. So now we're just gonna fix up all these modules that are still critical. They're showing B importance level. They, that, that needs to be patched. Otherwise the drive just doesn't load. Wow, this is taking forever, guys. Sorry. This is my day. This is my life. So let's go two for all. You got to get live right now, buddy. The moment of truth. Yes, we got, we got it. We got it, boys. Just gotta change this. Swap to the uh, task and select heads we couldn't work with. And try to read. And let me show you the fruits of my work. Why is the ISO it so high? You see this? You see this head running? Head two and head three. It came ready, quickly switched heads to be used only down to the ones that I'm missing. And there we go. It's uh, undergoing the imaging process. I have to monitor it now because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like exactly uh, uh, super super smooth uh, with no hiccups. I'm hoping that it will be. So far it hasn't given me any noises yet and we are already at 50. Fifty and uh, moving forward. So I think this is gonna be fully recovered by the time I'm done with it tonight. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you uh, have a problem with a hard drive that needs recovery, I'll be more than happy to assist. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, the name is right here on the screen. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.